Thank you very much to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. More on that a little later. Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Ellen and welcome to this week's video. We have a little bit of an update for you this week. General updates, I've done these videos before, it's nothing new, but I've found some really interesting stuff. Some of it you've seen before, some of it, I, it's, it's kind of surprised me, okay? There's plants in here that I actually think look quite hot and they are not plants that I like. You feel me? So if that sounds interesting for you, then keep on watching. So let's just start with, what should I start with? Hmm. I wanted to give you an update on this little boy because if you remember this little boy here, this was his new leaf at one point and I was extremely upset about it because it was just, it was just dumb really. This was sat in front of essentially the living wall for a while and it had no light, no nothing. So it literally put out this horrifically ugly tiny leaf on top of all of these big leaves. However, I'm pleased to report we're doing a little bit better. What plant is this you ask? This is I can't remember if it's squamicol or squamiferum. It could be squamiferum, it could be squamicol. Philodendron, squamicol or squamiferum, blood or dark or something like that. I can't remember the name. I don't know why. The names just aren't coming to me today. There's a few plants in there. I'm looking at them going, what are you? I can't remember what you are. We will get to them when we get to them. This is a plant that I, I don't know many people who don't like this. And yeah, it is this dark, by the way. I'm wearing black. Uh, no trickery. This is the color that it's kind of coming out. Not full black, obviously. It's not far off though, is it? The back, you get these. I mean, come on, literally. Is that not sexy? You do get these wonderful, soft, furry stems. Not for everyone, I do appreciate. They're very, very soft. I really like that sort of thing. It's definitely something that I appreciate. Let me know if you do or don't in the comments. Like, does this freak you out? Do you think it's cute? Is it like a little pet? What do you think? Let me know. But that's him anyway. Look how amazing that is. That is why people favor these plants. The back and the front being, if I can hold it nicely. Can I hold it nicely? Sort of. The front being this dark. That's really cute. So this one does need repropagated. It doesn't necessarily have all the aerials yet. I would probably cut from here, maybe here again, something like that. It's not quite time. We will let this go just a little bit further first, I think, but we'll definitely get to the point now we've got some yield off them. I do have some other propagations that are slowly starting to grow. I have some over there. I have some over there. They need put together. I need to do a big organization in the shop. It's crazy. So that is philodendron squamiferum, I think blood. Can't remember. Literally, it has escaped me. But it's an absolute gorgeous plant. And if you can get your hands on them, please do because they're gorgeous. They are so easy. And the fact that the plant can recover from that, by the way, in one, just one go, one leaf, that's fantastic. I don't have many plants that can do that. That's brilliant. So I'm going to gently put him down because he is stable. He's just, you know, he can move around a bit and I, I get a bit scared because he's so beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous plant. Ooh, look at him. <sighs> He's nice, he's nice. Right. I don't like begonia, okay? I don't, no really, no, 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 no. I don't, generally, right? Never say never, never say never, but generally, mainly, the majority, I don't like them. But this looks really nice. <laughs> So I'm going to eat my words for about five minutes, guys. But this looks really nice. I can't remember what it is. I can't remember what it is. Someone will be able to tell me, no doubt, when I hold her up. But she just looking cute. She's looking so good. I don't know why she's done so well either. I don't think she should have. But this is her. Do you remember when I hold her a while ago? She's just... I mean... What is happening? No, no, this is not okay. This is not okay. I like her. I would be sad to see her go. I know I'm holding her upside down here. That's a bit criminal, but criminal offensive side eye. But look at this young lady. Look at the back. It's really nice. Ooh, it's really nice. Yeah, I can't remember what this was called. I hauled this a while ago. Uh, it wasn't the only begonia I hauled. I do still have the other one. I think that was a galaxy or something similar, something like that. It, was, it had bits of variegation on it and stuff. This, I can't remember what it was. It was a lot smaller, but it, oh, I don't know what it is. It just likes this unit. Begonia are loved in here. I don't know what it is. But just to give you some perspective, we are now at, we're at 25 degrees in here. That's actually quite cool for this unit. It can get much warmer. And we're at 75% humidity at the moment. That's just what we're at right now. And that's without the sun on the unit, because when the sun comes on the unit, 
oh my God, get out. You don't want to be here. You do not want to be here when the sun comes out. I don't know what she is. I feel like this is a she. I know because a lot of them and nearly all of my plants are he and I don't know why it's just I think everyone has a has a not a choice but you just you just tend to say stuff don't you but this is a she what's what no I'm should I just go should I just see myself out but literally I'm having the best time watching this grow I I really like this I'm pretty sure correct me if I'm wrong guys but I'm pretty sure these are toxic to cats because I would I would actually maybe have a begonia in my house Oh my God, what? Now, just to put this in perspective, because I'm going to show you another begonia in a minute, but I think what I like about this, yes, it's the pinkiness, and I don't even like pink. What? What? But the angel wing shape is what I like. I don't think I like begonia that aren't, and I think I have said this before. I do have a begonia red plant index, if you're interested, by the way. That was received uh in a very mixed way there was mixed opinions about that because it was quite evident watching the rare plant index that i wasn't in love with begonia and a lot of people were quite offended by that or a bit upset by that i mean you, you can't like every plant guys you just can't and if you do you're lying so but if you want to say that anyway that's got a lot of different begonia in it and it will tell you at least what my opinions were back then and i probably did say in that video hey some of the angel wing stuff i can kind of get behind depending on which you know what it is but this whatever it is someone needs to tell me because i've forgotten i've forgotten there's no tag no nothing she's just she's in that but tell me what it is because it's so pretty look at that <sighs> shit might have to go on my instagram and that's saying something that is saying something if i'm willing to give her a space on my instagram so there she is a begonia that's looking mighty fine she does have a new leaf coming in as well can you see it yeah what beautiful colors though Oh my god, I'm gonna put it down, but I, I really like her. If you're looking for a fast and reliable way to create and run your own website, you should give Squarespace a try. Squarespace is an all-in-one solution for creating your own website from scratch using a variety of modern and sleek templates. They're really customizable so you can have a website that's unique to your brand in no time. I've used Squarespace now for well over a year for the Red Plant Shop and it's working really, really well for me. No matter what Squarespace template you go for, it's really, really easy to add new sections that still fall within your design choice. It's all laid out in categories depending on what you want and it all blends seamlessly with the rest of your website so you don't even need to worry about the design once you've chosen the theme that you would like. It's all just going to work seamlessly. If you want to create a really sleek looking website either for an online store or maybe you're working on your own blog, check out squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch go to squarespace.com forward slash Kaylee Ellen to save 10% off your first purchase of a website site or domain. That's it from voiceover me. Back to the video. So another example of a begonia that I, I don't, I don't like this one, but it has grown really well. So I want to show you it. And since we're on a bit of a begonia theme, just to start the video, then I thought, why not? So I don't remember what this one is either. I don't remember. So again, begonia people, please help me out. But do you remember this sky? Yeah, it was considerably smaller. It's dripping all over my foot and my foot has a fabric trainer on, so that's not good. So it has kind of reverted, not fully though. I know what you're gonna say, oh, it's reverted. No, it hasn't. <laughs> Can you see this here? It's, it's pretty much reverted. But there is the odd bit of variegation. If you're interested in buying this, by the way, I'm happy to let it go for, uh, I mean, I don't know how much, but if you're interested in buying it, let me know. But you could probably cut it back and get more of this out of it. So it is very pretty. It's just not really my cup of tea. But in terms of how well it's grown, look at that. That is decent. And to be fair on camera, personally, to me, that actually does look quite striking. And if you had more of this, it would actually be quite cute. I don't think it needs the variegation on the bottom. I just think it's kind of a nice touch there around the bottom, but it's kind of like almost snow capped or something. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. It's just, if you compare it to the, the last one that we had, uh, the I was about to name it. I don't know what it's called. I don't know. The last one we just had, obviously this is not my favorite. Just to show you the back, this is what it looks like at the moment. It's in moss and it seems to be loving its life in moss. The other one was in moss as well. So that's what she looks like from the back. She's all up in the grill. She could do with a bit of feed. She has got a lot smaller. Oh, this is a she as well. Are all begonia she? Mm, interesting development, interesting development. But yeah, it's a little bit smaller on the back, so it needs a little bit more oomph. Oh, there's some variegation on that one. 
oh, you know what? Yeah, this could be trimmed and, and possibly, you know, restarted, but it is kind of cute for a little bush. I, I really don't hate this at all. When you see it like that on video, I actually think that's quite cute, look, see? That's almost a thumbnail. So yeah, if you're interested, I could probably let it go. If I don't let it go, I'll probably try and cut it back at some point, just to see if I can get some more of this, because it's very, very cute, but yeah. Begonia something or other. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I just grow things. I don't have to know what they are. I just grow things, okay? Okay? Quick little update on this little dude. We are back to the dudes. I believe, I'm pretty sure this was Philodendron Fuzzy Petiole, variegated. Very nice plant. I have a couple of normal fuzzy petioles that I literally could not hold up for you because they are so tangled in each other and they've started to sort of climb down and they're just climbing through things. It's it's a bit like trying to get your way off a really crowded bus or coach. It's just sort of, you know, doing all of this. So I couldn't pick it up, but let me tell you something about the plant itself, not even the variegated version. The normal version is very, very tough, guys, by the fact that it is just happily crawling along. It's still even stayed like quite sized up on the leaves. It hasn't shrank or anything. It's pretty good, actually. I do actually rate it. It's quite nice to look at as well, but this one hopefully will be very, very beautiful. I got this a while ago. I can't remember when. Can you? Can you? It'll be in this year for sure, but it's very, very cute. And it is variegated. There are loads of different spots of variegation. We've got beautiful half and half. It's only just starting now to climb. Can you see that there? So cute. So it's just starting to climb. So personally, I'm, I would like to let this go even more before I cut it. Now, this leaf here, it's not perfect to be honest, but it's quite highly variegated. I don't know if you can tell because that's the leaf next to it. So when you see that versus that, you think, mm, that's quite a bit. So if I do have to cut it, that's probably why. I won't want to cut it, but if it just gets to the point where it's all yellow, then yeah, it needs cut. So at least it's in a point where you could cut it right there. Show you it again. And you could save that and hopefully that won't die on you. So it kind of depends. But I don't want to linger on this one too long. I just want to show you that it is getting very beautiful, very, very nice. And it has not been touched since I got it. It has been planted. It has been left. This is what it is. So that's how much growth I've had in that time. Not a ton, actually, because I'm pretty sure that might have just been coming in when I bought it, I think. Either that was the leaf below it. So I haven't had a ton out of it. It is about to push a new leaf out very shortly. So I'll let you know how this one goes. But yeah, quick variegation update on that little guy hopefully i won't have to cut him Oof. i might do i might do so that's him that's philodendron fuzzy petiole variegata yellow variegation i think by the way if that wasn't obvious pretty sure that's yellow Another variegated update for you. We have this beautiful guy and I wanted to show you this one specifically because it just goes to show don't sacrifice green leaves and nodes because you just, ah, you just don't know what's going to happen. So this is obviously a propagation and it's been propagated from this guy. And honestly, in the petiole here, I can't see any stripes of variegation at all. But look what it's done for me. Look what it's done for me. This here is Philodendron SP Tropicals Variegated. And this is such a pretty one, by the way, because the variegation comes in a little bit like a blush, yellowy, creamy color, and it will harden off to a white. Like this, this is white variegation, sort of. I think it's the blushness coming through the back, which even that fades, to be honest. It just changes color a little bit. So it's actually a really nice one to have. If I just show you this up close, you see what I mean? There, that looks super pinky but I promise you it will go white. I have loads of pictures on, if it's not on my Instagram, then it's on the shop's Instagram. You'll see this guy and you will see that it is white. So really interesting. But to be honest, the Philodendron Gloriosum Variegated, which I do have one here, like this guy here, he needs a chop, can you tell? This guy does the same thing. He comes in a bit of a pinky blush and he fades down to white, but sometimes he looks yellowy, whereas this one's doing something similar. So if I had to relate the variegation, it would sort of behave like this guy here does. How cute is he, by the way? If you want a little secondhand update there, he's very, very cute. But he sort of does the same thing. This, by the way, tough as nails, literally, tough as nails. I don't know what it is. I don't know what made it. It's just brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. Let me just put this back for you. Little reminder to not completely give up on your propagation. This is actually one of the best ones I have. I have a whole tray just up here off camera, and this is one of the best ones. A lot of the other variegates are variegated more towards the leaf margin, but this has just gone boom. So we will see how this one goes. It's got a new caterpillar coming there. I don't know if you're going to be able to see on the caterpillar. There's actually a lot of variegation on the caterpillar. So we shall see. He's looking hot. He's looking cute. We'll see how he goes. I'm going to pop him back because 
I love him so much. He's gorgeous. Now this guy is pretty wobbly, but he's actually due a trim now because I don't like how wobbly this guy is. And I did get him in terms of producing a few of them for the shop. I didn't really get him as a one-off to sell. So this here, he's gorgeous. This, oh, oh this plant, it's because it's silver as well. This is Philodendron Hastartum Variegade, also known as Philodendron Silver Sword Variegade. You can get the non-variegation the non-variegation, you can get the non-variegated version in a lot of places, garden centers, plant shops, whatever. And I do recommend them, by the way, they're very, very tough. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. If you want the variegated one though, they are very pretty. And this one is really starting to come alive because I don't know if you can tell if I just show you the lower leaves like that. You can probably tell it wasn't that variegated when I got it, but over time, it's definitely got better. So what I would like to do, given that we've got some absolutely stunning aerials here, is I'd actually like to chop this one. If Ben was here and Ben wanted to chop this, he would chop it twice probably, or at least he would chop it at the top. But I would prefer to chop it here just to make damn sure that it's a success because I would not want to lose the top if it's variegating a lot better. But it's a lovely plant and when you do get variegation on it, it's it's like this yellowy creamy color, but it's almost in perfect contrast to the blue tone. So it's like blue and cream. It's actually really quite nice. So if you're thinking about getting one of these, I, I genuinely do recommend it. Really pretty plants. You can get them around, I'm not saying they're impossible or anything, but it's definitely a private seller situation, obviously. I just find these absolutely stunning. And when these get going, they're great. And the, the leaf shape of a mature silver sword is actually really cool. And I don't think people know enough about what they look like when they're mature, because all of us tend to see the, not, not, not small, but not fully mature. Have a look at it on Google and look at the leaf shape because it might surprise you a little bit, actually, if you didn't already know. Philodendron, silver sword, variegated, gorgeous. Definitely worth a chop, I think. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So we'll see how it goes. And again, I will update you in due course. Let's take the quickest break ever to, I think, my only non-variegated plant left to go on this list. And I just want to show you it because it's it's quite serious. Look at this. It's quite serious. This here, if you couldn't already tell, is my Philodendron Luxurians. And I've gone back and forth over whether this is an easy plant or not. And on the whole, I would say it is. If you have good conditions, you have the right conditions for it, it pretty much grows itself. It's very low maintenance. If you don't, you can get the odd problem. I do actually have a little bit of crisping here. A lot of that, quite honestly, can just be off missing some moorings and stuff. It happens. It happens. We're all human. But I want to show you it anyway, just because it is doing well. There's a new leaf coming out. I'll just show you that. Can you see? Very nice. And we have a flower. A flower that obviously I have been keeping my eye on and utilizing where required. If you feel me. Really, really cute little plant. He's just, he's just excellent. If you're really into like big textured anthurium, you can't really not have one of these. This is like a flagship one to go for. And honestly, you won't regret it. So there he is. He's very big. That's my hand. Literally, that is my hand. He's massive. Show you right up to him. Because look at that. Hopefully the camera will be focusing on him. He's not just normal green, as you can probably tell. Again, I'm wearing black. He is quite a dark green. He is green, but he's not your typical green. He is definitely, definitely look on the darker side. That is how big he is. That's level with my head. Uh, yeah, he's quite a large boy, to be honest. And Ethereum Luxurians looking sexy and we've got a new leaf and hopefully we can look after this new leaf a little bit better. I can tell you now it's under watering, by the way, because my self-watering pot is actually pretty much out of water almost. He's definitely that, but he's very cute. And if you've been thinking about one, I honestly think you should get one because they're really, really beautiful. Look, one last go, one last go. <sighs> oh, that's really sexy, that's really sexy. Now, I did tell you I would keep you up to date on a couple of the Monstera that I have. And the first one I want to keep you up to date on, because this is quite cute, is the, what is it? Monstera Deliciosa, White Monster. And he is here. And we do have a bit of a situation over here, but it's only over here. I suspect it's got burnt on something, I'm not sure. But if you don't know, this is Monstera Deliciosa. Pretty sure it's large form. I, yeah, it is. That's how I know. That's how I know, if there's ever any doubt. Those internodal spacings there are pretty tiny don't know why the camera's choosing to focus literally on my wrist will it focus on anything else uh, that might do it <laughs> there you go very 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 tight internal spacing but yes the cool thing about this is it starts off sort of it's really difficult to explain but like a frosted ghosty mint color so all of these leaves here that's a previous one it's not the newest one but it starts off kind of like this I get right up to the camera and then it, it'll fade down to 
essentially this, but it's probably not going to go totally green. Like I've got a couple here that have just stayed quite variegated. It's, it's really weird. It seems to be, or at least mine is, a mixture of that ghost development, variegation, whatever you want to call it, with variegation. Because I'm pretty sure when this leaf, for example, fades down, this top part here is always going to be here. Just like this part here is still there. It, it's really weird because this here has gone more or less green. There wasn't any like permanent variegation in it. Same thing as this. Now, I'm not saying this is the same thing for every single white monster. I don't know. I only got one and this is how it's been working. I, I always thought personally that they all came in like this ghosty tone and then they just turned to green and that was that. I didn't know. So I'm not really sure what's going on with stuff like this. Can you get a variegated one? I don't know. If you do know in the comments, please let me know. Is this very typical of doing this or not? I'd have to check my other ones. To be fair, my other ones are doing it as well. My other ones are doing it as well, but it could be from the same plant. So I don't know. I'm, I want to say that it is typical of a white monster. So it's not something I knew about though. Genuinely, when I was buying these, it's not something I knew about. I genuinely thought it's a ghost situation where they come in mint and they fade down. But I want to give you an update because he's growing absolutely beautifully. He is to the point really where he should be propagated, in my opinion even though he's beautiful and he would look very very nice large maybe I might not maybe I might not chop him maybe I might just keep chopping at the others I don't know but I want to show you this anyway this is a new leaf and look at that that's kind of cute so if I just tilt this ever so slightly you shall see that we have some really cool variegation coming in look at that you'd almost think that was monstera mint wouldn't you and it is very very similar and i do have one coming up next so you'll see what i mean but yeah it's white monster it does work differently and if i sort of tilt it like that you should be able to see just the general differences in how it all works so it's a very unique plant to be honest and if you love monstera deliciosa and you're just bored of variegated yellow all green but big or whatever just th this is something very different to be fair i will say that so have a look at it have a research online see what you find about it see what you think of how it grows don't just take my word for it because i'm one person with one batch of white monster it might work differently from what i've seen they're quite unique really especially considering some of the variegation actually hangs around i didn't expect that at all monstera white monster absolutely lovely and that's so cute and it's fenestrating can we just talk about that that's fenestrating yes that means the next one's going to be absolutely brutal when it comes out mm, because these guys size up so quickly because they're large form they do not hang around so we will see it very shortly but oh look at that i love that i absolutely love it okay this this is this is brutal is what this is so if you can't tell i do have to stand back this is one of the Monstera Mint cuttings. Now, I don't know how much you can see here, but this is actually like a whole section of Monstera Mint here. Down on the bottom, I have some White Monster and I have some Aurea. Next door to that, I have actually some Thai, probably a little bit of Mint and some Albo as well. So I've got a bit of a mix going on here, so you might every so often just catch that in videos. This guy's certainly been sort of here on videos, so you might have seen him. But he does have a new leaf. This Monstera Minty Boy. I don't want to open it, but it does look good. Looks like it's got a decent spread. Again, I really don't want to fuck with this, but you can see there's definitely a big, nice patch at the top there. You get the idea. Do not want to piss him off. He's got stupid roots. They're quite, quite offensive, really. They're quite big. He's grown really, really well. A little bit of algae there. I need to get rid of that. But I just want to show you how nicely he's coming along. And the mint has persisted. I am seeing a lot of cuttings, guys. A lot of cuttings out there that people say are mint just because they've hit lucky on one, maybe two leaves with a sort of minty variegation. And someone gets it home and grows it or props from it. And it's just an elbow again. Every one of these, I think, I don't know what you can see on camera, but I have one here that's growing in, look. And that's mint and that's just stayed mint all the time so that's what this guy is but i want to show you him because he's just cool isn't he look at him he's really really cool hopefully it does come off mint by the way and not just white because if it was white it would be more the color of my background here because that is white as you can see it, it almost looks cream in my viewfinder but i can assure you it is mint and the reason you know it's mint is because it does the same thing as the white monster essentially it has that really weird graininess to it and that's what you should be looking at for a mint generally Shouldn't be all one solid block. It's probably going to be a bit grainy like that. So yeah, that's him. Will it be cut? 
probably soon, to be honest. I'd want to see what's happening with the base of this for some roots. It's definitely growing well, I will say that, but we should probably look at it because this is getting a bit big and I can't send something like this. Unless someone was going to pick this up and collect it, I can't send this. So I would definitely be able to send the top two if I cut them and rooted them and sent them on. That would be fine. So yeah, that's him. Monstera Deliciosa Mint. Beautiful plant. Can recommend. Look at him. Absolutely stunning. Wonderful, wonderful. They're all grown well, by the way. Every single one. Growing brilliantly. Do you remember? When I showed you my wonderful Raphidophora tetrasperma, I had to genuinely think of what that plant's name was. That is absolutely hideous. Can you tell I've been unwell? I've been very unwell. I'm, I'm a sick girl, okay? I've been very, very unwell for the last couple of weeks. I haven't been able to move because I pulled my back boxing rescue boxes. And since then, I've not been able to do much work. I've had to just sit there. And as a result, my brain is like scrambled eggs. So anyway, I wanted to update you on this because I think you might remember if you've seen a previous update video where I showed you it and I basically said, I feel like I want to trail it down. What am I going to do? Should I just try and get it to trail down? Should I try and cut it? What should I do? So I want to show you what I've done with it, essentially, and let me know what you think. But let me tell you something. The variegation on this plant is the most beautiful distribution of variegation ever. It's absolutely gorgeous. It might not be everybody's cup of tea. It might be slightly too green for some people. In terms of like sustainability versus growth versus not burning, this is kind of it. So I want to show you it because if I just stand back for a second, <laughs> Because the roots are this long, I don't know how we left things. Well, that's a dead leaf, isn't it? I don't know how we left things, but I don't think it had roots like this. So, mm, I might cut this, guys. <laughs> I might cut this. So, I did actually try and let it trail. It hasn't massively successfully done that, to be honest. Can I actually move this without pulling it two seconds? Oh, terrifying. There we go. I wouldn't say it was really successful, but I've done my best. But can I just show you the spread of irrigation on this plant? It's absolutely stunning. Look at this. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Some things are like more or less half moon. Some of them we've got like a beautiful dispersion all over the leaf. Similar for back here, like that's gorgeous for me. All of these here, some of them have nice little white ears on them. It's just the most beautiful distribution of variegation ever. There's not a ton, in my opinion. You might think, oh God, there's loads. It's all right. I would say, mm, would we say 30% maybe? Maybe looking at that. I think that's fine. I've said this a million times. I don't need plants to be super variegated at all. I like a balance between it being manageable, getting what you paid for, getting the growth, and it just being healthy, to be honest. I, I don't want something that's half and half, like the Gloriosum I showed you earlier on. Obviously, that's that's got an all yellow leaf, but if it didn't even, the half and half, it's like, ooh, just makes me nervous. Do you know what I mean? It makes me nervous. But this guy is looking pretty amazing. Now, I wanted to put this guy in my house. I did, I did. But when I was planning all of this, you may remember, I wasn't necessarily getting cats. And now I am. So I don't know what to do with this. I might just... <sighs> I don't know. What, what should I do? Should I just go back to propagating it? Because it would sell beautifully. It, it's absolutely gorgeous. Like if I made a cut here and just sold that, it would be ready really quickly to sell, to be honest. It wouldn't take long at all because it's already got some root. You know what I mean? It's. I mean, you could sell it as a cutting, just there it is, and it's absolutely stunning. Let me know what you think I should do with this. I don't know. I don't know. It probably does need repotting. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. This is a little bit much. These, you would think these are really good. And I've talked about this before, I think in my Monstera video when I was propagating Monstera. You think this is good. It's not good. I'll tell you why it's not good. Because if you're trying to put it into a pot and you're trying to coil it round, nine times out of 10, at some given point, you're going to snap that and you're not gonna know and it's gonna die, the snapped part, and it's gonna rot and you're gonna be sat in rot. It happens a lot and it's not ideal. Really, you want roots like that or a bit shorter, to be honest, I'd be more than happy with just that. That is a little bit of a nightmare, so I might do something about it. I'm not really sure. Let me know what you think I should do, but all the same, can we just appreciate how pretty this plant is? It is so, so, so pretty. I can't even, I can't even. I don't know what's going on with this one. He's just living his best life, really, isn't he? Look at that. Oh. So, so pretty. So this is Raphidophora tetrasperma variegata, I guess. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I just need to figure out what I'm doing with it because literally, if I hold the plant to my shoulder, that root is down past my knee. So let me know what you think I should do. And that is this week's plant updates. I've tried to give you some different stuff. Yes, a lot of it is variegated, but to be honest, I feel like you get the most developments and the highs and the lows with variegated stuff, right? Let's just be honest. Variegated stuff is where the drama is. 
It just is. It just is. Because things can either revert one way or go all yellow and die the other way or just die generally or something else. So I feel like that's where most of the tea is, you feel me? But those begonia have really surprised me. Really surprised me. That pink thing, I, I really don't think it's good for my house, for the cats, but I really like it and it's made me want a begonia. I don't know what's happening to me. Please help. Send help. I don't think I'm okay. I don't think I'm okay. But if you like this video, please leave a like down below. Any opinions on any of the things that I've got, any ideas as well on those begonia, please leave that down below. I'd be very, very interested. And if you fancy subscribing, I would love to have you as part of the channel. Please feel free to do that. You can also join my channel and become a member and get extra perks such as early access to my videos that we have the members discord. We also have those really cool emblems next to people's names. If you're wondering what they are, that's what they are. You get a badge that gets sort of better each month that you're remember for and all the rest. So if that interests you, then you should see a join button on my channel. So click that and it will come with a pop-up of options where you can either take it or leave it. It's up to you. Either way, it's been amazing having you. I will love you and leave you. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. I look forward to reading your comments and as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.